On the main street of historic Yorktown sits a small, unassuming building. The sign out front notes its historical backgrounds as the Cole Diggs House, one of Yorktown's oldest homes. However, it's not just the building itself that makes history. The restaurant that the landmark houses is stirring up some history of its own. While the government shutdown in early October may have stopped several businesses in their tracks, Carrot Tree Kitchen owners Glenn and Debbie Helseth refused to close their doors. The couple, who owns branches of the restaurant in Williamsburg, Jamestown, and Yorktown, were asked to shut down their Yorktown kitchen because of its government-owned location. However, as soon as their employees started feeling financial strain, the two decided that conceding to the shutdown was not an option. To be told for external reasons that I can't honor my obligations and my contract, that was unbearable. And especially when we heard about the one lady that we had to cancel her 100th birthday party because of the shutdown, that just hardened our resolve and we were determined to do what we were meant to do. We serve food, we serve carrot cake. We just wanted to get back into business. Soon word spread. Carrot Tree started attracting national media attention and the small town restaurant gained widespread support. Business blossomed, helping the restaurant, which was closed for five or six days, recover from the hit that the shutdown took on its earnings. Obviously, publicity has been very good for business, and I'm grateful for that because we did lose so much of October because of the shutdown, and so this, is, this has helped us bring business back. When people heard about it, it got a lot of attention, and, and people called up to offer support, and people called up to offer money because they'd heard I'd had to lay off staff and things like that. As more and more people called in with donations and support, one woman gave an interesting request. Uh, one lady called up and said, I'd like to, yes, I'd like to order a bowl of Brunswick stew, a ham biscuit, and a carrot cake, please. I said, yes, ma'am, when would you like to pick that up? And she says, I don't want to pick it up. I don't care what you do with the food. I just want to buy something from you to support you. I said, well, ma'am, I, I need to do something. She says, give the food away, do whatever you want, give it to a vet. Soon the owners had an idea. The restaurant has always had deep ties to the community that it serves. As a result, the community has rallied around the restaurant to keep its doors open more than once. We almost had to close a year ago because of contract negotiation problems with the government and only because of an uproar from the community was the, were we able to secure an extension to stay. So when Glenn got the call about a meal for a vet, he decided to use this opportunity to give back to the community at large. And so we started a program that we've called Miss Evelyn's for Veterans and people have donated uh, a lot of money to us to, uh, to purchase these meals. Today we're having the first of 25. I expect we should be able to feed about 100 veterans so far. The first of 25 lunches was held on November 6th. Veterans from the nearby Hampton Hospital for Vets visited the historic restaurant for an afternoon of Brunswick stew, Virginia ham biscuits, and carrot cake. As the veterans ate, Glenn shared with them the history of the building and of the carrot tree itself. The vets left happy and satisfied, vowing to return with their families and appreciative of the generosity of the carrot tree community at large. It was very, very wonderful, you know, to have the veterans come here and share, you know, share together as a group of guys and still being on the battlefield, we were able to eat in a dining facility like this. It's really nice. It was incredible. It was awesome. I really appreciated that uh, folks out there still uh, care and answer the call uh, for American veterans. Just a chance for us vets to get out and uh, kind of join an afternoon and uh, relax, see Yorktown, and uh, you know enjoy a day. For your own slice of carrot cake, stop by one of Carrot Tree Kitchen's three locations in Williamsburg, Jamestown, or Yorktown. Donations can be made for future Miss Evelyn's Lunch for Vets at www.carrottreekitchen.com.